This smells like Hey, Beth Pally, I'm Allie, and it is sugar scarfing season. Now, before you go eating whatever's in your basket, let me show you in real time what Easter treats do to your metabolism. The Easter Bunny might not have your longevity in mind. To show you the effects of Easter candy, I'm wearing Level's Continuous Glucose Monitor, which will show me my glucose in real time when I eat a food. We'll see if it does a bunny hop, also known as a blood glucose spike. And a spike means you're less metabolically fit, so that's associated with poor brain function, memory, Worse mood, less energy. In general, you're at risk for a lot of chronic diseases. Also, a spike means you're storing fat, getting closer to obesity, diabetes. We don't want spikes, no bunny hops. So in this video, I will be eating two very popular Easter candies to see if they give me a spike and just how big it is. Excuse me, sir, I need to speak with your mother about being in a video. Get out of the I'm way. I'm being attacked by kisses. Would you like to eat chocolate and marshmallows for science? Chocolate? Yes. <laughs> Marshmallows, depending on what kind. Okay, then we'll get to that. Christina's also wearing levels, and since everyone's body is different, everyone's metabolism acts differently to different foods, so the more different testers we can get, the better. Christine decided not to join the excursion for this video, so I get to decide her flavor fate. <laughs> and of course, the classic. I only need two, but... Yeah, we're doing this. Happy Easter. Can I only eat the cream? You don't like the chocolate part? No, I don't like the caramel. Oh yeah, for sure I got you oh, the cream ones. Caramel not. eggs, am I right? <laughs> Who would ever? The metabolic effect of caramel eggs is zero because no one eats them, you know? Is it caramel or caramel? Oh no, let us know in the comments. No, this little metabolic bomb is so common during this season. <laughs> it's our job to show people what it does to us. Wait, we're only eating one? I mean, I only thought you would want one, but they came in four, so... Yeah, okay. we're having two each. You can have two if you want, but I want to show that even one is going to affect me negatively. I mean, unless it doesn't, there is five grams of fat in these, and fat will slow a blood sugar spike when you combine it with a lot of carbs. So it's 25 grams of carbs, which is basically okay. a serving of pasta. I'd rather have a serving of pasta. Oh, you started. How is it? Mm. It's what I remember as a kid, except smaller. Can we yeah, talk about that? The... A BJ Novak called him out on Conan. Watch this. This year's Cabaret egg, not the mini egg, not the mini cream egg. This is this year's egg. Yes. This is the egg. <gasps> oh, oh wow! <laughs> right? Liars. <clears throat> what they respond. They got called out, and so they're like, okay, be cool. Things are more expensive now. We had to bring down the size so that you could afford them. But also the prices are higher, and also I think they did it because they want it to be lower calories. It's a centimeter. It's a huge difference. But I bet they were over 200 calories and now they're 150, which feels reasonable compared to that. Well, if you're eating a Cadbury egg, you shouldn't be worried about calories. If you're eating two Cadbury eggs, you clearly aren't. It tastes like chemicals, like hairspray. You taste that? Yeah, well, I hate that you I, said that. Is this that. a bad batch? No, I think this is just what they are now. This is the future. Everything's smaller and crappier. I think we got a bad batch. Stick with one. Shout out, Lynn. Sponsor my fitness channel. <laughs> Uh, I should also mention zero fiber. Very sure. 22. Just had 44. That's all the sugar you need in two days. Oh, I can't wait to see what this does to your blood sugar. We do it stupid so you don't have to. We'd also like to mention that very recently we did a test with cereal and I learned that there is pig gelatin in Lucky Charms, which is made of boiled pig skin and tendons. And, but that also means oh, I broke vegan. All bets are off. This is milk chocolate. We're just going nuts now, I guess. I'm getting steak. I'll be not vegan for science, but I'm certainly still going to keep eating vegan. What does red meat do to your blood sugar? <laughs> Get out of here. I see what three does. You want a third? No, I mean, yes, I want a third because it tastes kind of gross and good at the same time. I mean, I'm not here to peer pressure, but mm, this cream is so delicious. I'm also really interested to see if this or the peeps are worse. Ugh, peeps? That's worse than this. No one eats peeps. They're just like the thing that's always on the shelf that no one grabs. Then why are they everywhere? Decor. They're never gone. No one buys them. If someone were to buy me that, I would be the most unhappy kid in the world. Lucky you, we have some for later. Shout out to Peeps. Sponsor my fitness channel. Sponsor my main channel. Man, I put 1,200 of you in artwork. And under my butt. Yeah, that's where they belong. Okay, two hours to metabolize. We can't walk or work out or anything because that would affect our blood sugar spike. So we're gonna sit around oh, and see what happens. How did your body handle a Cadbury egg? Oh, two of them. Eight. Eight? That's so good. <laughs> Four is out of one to 10 and 10's the best. That's almost the best. That's like, better than fruit. <laughs> if this is your first time seeing this series, 
Man, you never get bad scores. There's something about her body that just metabolizes like crazy. What'd you get? So for me, I got a three. That is not a good score. But I am surprised because I thought it was gonna be a one. And the fact that it's a three when cereal and a bagel yeah. were worse than a Cadbury egg, I think we need to take into account glycemic load, not just glycemic index. I mean, that little egg. Glycemic index is a rating one to 100 on how certain foods may affect your blood sugar, and it's based on the type of food and how it's affected a lot of other people. But it doesn't take into consideration the amount that you're having. So glycemic load also has that involved. So for example, watermelon is high glycemic index. Your body will metabolize it quickly and it'll go right in your blood but you won't have that much of it because to have 50 grams of watermelon, it'd be a whole bunch of watermelon. But 50 grams of cereal, that's much easier to do. We technically had only 25 grams of carbs. And so that was a smaller glycemic load than the cereal or the bagel, which was at 70 grams of carbs. Oh, you did have 50. <laughs> you had two. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is it's not just what you eat, it's how much of it that you have. What's next? Let's see what the bunny brought us. Oh God. <laughs> Let's go. Lucky you, get fruit punch peeps. This Gosh. Oh really? Okay. Well, the bunny is here and he's got some more deliveries. So you tell me you do not waste your money on more. Funny you should say that because my mom mailed these to me after I broke the record for the largest cotton candy bunny. No. How about party cake? Which one? If I had to choose, it would be that one. But I knew it. Gross. What about just, you know, nothing plain trash? The bunny can't win. This is, doesn't even, I'm not even trying to be on camera, but why? You are on camera. And let us know in the comments why. My grandpa used to leave them out until they got stale and he ate them stale and liked them that way. These ones are also a year old. Oh wait, I forgot. Ugh. The bunny also brought you one from the artwork that is no. in my studio. Come on. That is rock solid. This one is famous. I don't care. You couldn't pay me enough to eat that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in my day, there were two flavors of Peeps and it was pink bunnies that tasted exactly like Yellow peep. The average peep calories is 110, total fat zero, total carbs 27, so more than a Cadbury egg. One gram of protein, obviously no fiber. You're definitely gonna spike more for this. I mean, I got a freaking eight on Cadbury. She's very confident. So probably gonna get a nine or 10 on this, who knows? This smells like they don't know what it smells like because I bleeped that. This smells good. Oh, weird. It's a stack of five. I thought one, one line was a serving, but you have to take one off. One guy doesn't have to die with the rest. It's super soft for being a year old and sent through the mail by my no. mother. This is actually good. Wait, really? I was totally concerned by my own flavor that I didn't realize. This you one liked it? <gasps> Fruit Punch is dope. The toughest critic on my channel. Peeps, sponsor us. Peeps hasn't sponsored me. After laying on 1,200 of them, we're never getting it. Watch, you're gonna get it now. <laughs> Here, try this one, it's been aged. Cotton candy's really good too. I'm not like a cotton candy flavored person. It doesn't taste like cotton candy, it just tastes like pink sugar with flecked blue. This actually <laughs> tastes like Hawaiian Punch. Hawaiian Punch, sponsor us. But I just feel like I ate air. Metabolically diabolical air. It's fruity. If fruit was terrible for you. They're way better than I remember. Maybe it's just because I'm a bunny. Nope, feel good. Boring. Oh, now that you've had all the fruit and cake. One. Oh no, they changed the serving size on this one. Five chips. Did you want to eat five? Probably have another serving because I did two of Cadbury. <laughs> Great idea. This is why you're here. Everyone playing along at home is like, yeah, her. <laughs> is this just a video about how you like pizza now? I know, this is like a great discovery. You're welcome that I got all of these. No, get them out. That doesn't mean I want them sitting in the house. Yeah, these are surprisingly blah compared to what. I was thinking it was gonna be like overpowering. It's a delicate fruit punch. You know, really tingles the palate, <laughs> not too much. <laughs> It is, it's like, mm -hmm. a, it's like a dollop. A bouquet of cake. That's a hint. You don't want to try the vintage peep? No, I just had two servings. Well, I'm jealous. My body certainly couldn't handle it. She's just scared. Yeah, I'm terrified. I'm trying to live forever, not eating peeps. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, party cake is good. I really love how they look too. They're just yeah, they're really cool. celebratory. Do what happens in two hours. I like want more. Three servings? <laughs> I'd rather have pasta. Look at you and your self-control. Whatever our results end up being, we should talk about the fact that we had just the candy by itself. Now, if we had it with something else, perhaps fiber, that could bring a spike down. You've probably heard me talk a lot about Bellway on this channel. It is delicious. It helps me stay fuller longer. On the actual label, it says healthy blood sugar levels. And we've seen that happen in previous videos, it will help bring a spike down. And not just the moment you're having a carby food, adding fiber to your diet in general will overall give you a happier gut 
and help your metabolism work better. They also have greens plus fiber now for double the punch. So if you want to try Bellway for yourself, use the link in the description because they hook my pallies up with a discount. And now results time. What'd you get? What'd you get? I got a nine. That's crazy. Are you kidding I, me? I opened this video absolutely sure that we would just show people how bad the Easter Bunny is. We should point out though that you dipped really low at the end, all the way down 57. So that's called reactive hypoglycemia where your body recognizes that there's sugar in your blood and so it throws in insulin mm -hmm. to bring it down but it uses too much insulin and then you go lower and did you feel crappy? Did you feel kind of bleh afterwards? No. I still got a nine. <laughs> That's all that matters. Of course, to you and your competitive brain. <laughs> but it is really common, you know, after lunch when you feel, ugh, it might be reactive hypoglycemia mm. because you had too many carbs and then your body overcompensated and now you're kind of out of energy. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? I got a four. That's even better than the Cadbury egg, yeah, which had that? fat with it. This is weird. You can't assume. Assume. The glycemic index is a guess based on the total population, but everybody's body is different. Mm. And every food, the amount you have is different. Yeah, I will I had two servings. To be clear, four is still a bad score. You should definitely try and be a nine. But at Easter, you could have two servings of Easter bread and spike higher than one Cadbury egg. So that's why having a CGM has been so enlightening because you can't tell based on what everyone else is telling you. It's gotta be on your own body. And now I know what Easter candy to have. <laughs> also with Peeps, you're not gonna eat four. They're not that good. So one might not spike you as much, so I would say that they're not bad for it being Easter candy. If you like this, you'll like seeing when I got a one and we tried to fix it with fiber from basil seeds. I'll put that down there for you. Oh wow, that's better than I remember. I can't remember the last time I had cereal. Mm, this reminds me of last week. Hey, that's Pally, I'm Allie, and I've heard that basil seeds are way better than these trendy chia seeds, and I'm out to scientifically 